black armies exist like dead ass I thought I was the only one nigga obviously obviously I'm lying but <laughs> obviously I'm lying <laughs> but nah so I was sent this video by TV show underscore YouTube underscore edits he gave me hey, he gave me he gave me they gave me a nice little video, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? This video is called Black BTS Fans Share Why They Purple This K-Pop Group. I don't know what purple means, but I feel like that's like, means like they really, they really love this K-Pop group, I guess. Honestly, I did not know niggas love BTS this much. I thought I was just a lone wolf in this shit, but it looks like I'm wrong. What is ARMY? ARMY is, should I use the government name? Army is just the fandom name that BTS gave their fans. Army, It stands for Adorable Representative and for You. <laughs> we are so thankful to Army. You are the best. Being black BTS for me is dope. I love for you. That's how we say our love. It's safe to say that Army are the most powerful fandom in the world. I've never seen anything like it in the world, and I've never been a part of anything like this. Black fans purple BTS too. What? 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 Hey, I'm Sabrina Khadija. Hello. Hey, my name is Aisha Hodesanya. I'm Beyonce Watson. Beyonce. My name is Lauren My name is Deja. I've been standing BTS since 2016. I've been a oh, BTS sure. fan for about seven years now. I've been at ARMY for almost three years. I have been a BTS fan for over five years now. I've been ARMY for about four years now. BTS is a seven member K-pop group that debuted in 2013 in South Korea. They consist of three rappers and four vocalists. <laughs> Yoongi, <laughs> Namjoon, and Hosek are rappers. Jungkook, Jimin, Taehong, and Jin are the vocalists. They're just this group of seven angels brought down on this earth to bless the world with joy, love, and box. Joy, love, and box. My bias is V, Kim Taehong. So my bias in BTS All right, wait, 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 I wanna do this. My bias, my bias, my favorite members is um, RM and Jimin. Those are my favorite. Yeah, those are my favorite. This is Yoongi. He's the lead rapper. My bias is... I thought RM's the lead rapper. Jimmy, the first one whose vocals I fell in love with. His dancing is just amazing. All of them have just come to mean so much to me that I can't really say... I have a bias anymore. Ooh. I am a OT7 stan. I stan all of them, but my all bias is Taeyong. My bias record, Yoongi. My bias record is not stable at all. It alternates between different oh, members. Who makes, oh, who them. makes me rethink my favorite member? Who makes me rethink? Oh, shit. I say uh, Jen. After, after listening to um, Epiphany, I would say Jen, probably. Yeah. Or was I, okay, if I wanted to split it up, I would say niggas from the vocalist group, Jimin's my favorite, obviously, and the rap group, RM. So, the people who I would like, I would make me rethink would be, in the vocalist group would be Jen, and for the rap group is Sugar. I post a selfie and I'm just like, okay, he's my bias record. But right now I would probably say that it's Jungkook. My bias record is Jimin. My bias record is B, 100%, hands down, no further explanation required, it's B. Nah. Sometimes it's kind of hard being a black BTS fan. Like the stereotype of black people liking different things. I often get people laughing and judging and teasing me for my taste in music, but I don't care because. I mean, obviously, you have a great taste in music because your name is Beyonce. Black so. people were not wrong. <laughs> but I feel like sometimes, you know, we're kind of like, you know, look at each other funny, you know, for that, like being into things that don't fit within the Norm. box of blackness, but which I think is... can be kind of limiting sometimes. Like, I love my blackness and yours. And I love BTS because of their authenticity. Who styles they often them? They talk about and write about issues that are 
um, important to me. They talk about mental health, they talk about self-acceptance, they talk about empowerment. Their music has truly gotten me through so much in life. I have been through many things, depression, grief, and I am someone who music uplifts me. I, of course, love Life Goes On. Like an echo in the forest, how to get to, how to get cheap. I cried when I first heard that song. It just meant so I still much. I can't do that shit. <laughs> oh, Bob. This is probably my favorite song, too. This shit is OD. This song is OD. Hip hop is an industry that profits off of black culture. And black fans try their hardest to call out and or educate idols and companies that do do cultural appropriation. Stop. It hurts when someone that you kind of have a care for, that you respect, that you love as a fan, um, ends up doing something that hurts you and your identity. So it can be really painful and it can be hard to navigate being a fan with Did those instances. I will say that BTS have had their fair share of cultural appropriation oh. when they first debuted, but their Western fans quickly shut that down and educated BTS, and BTS immediately apologized for it. It is a fine line between appreciation Okay, and um, when it comes to like, you know how um, niggas get caught doing shit, and then they apologize? Um, if the, if the behavior hasn't changed after the apology, then the apology don't mean shit. There's nothing wrong with apologizing, like, I guess the, like, if you have a good apology, regardless if you have a good apology or a bad apology, if you don't change your behavior, that apology don't mean goddamn thing, that, that shit just, that just is just negated. Like, fuck you, like, why would you apologize if, if you gonna do it again, you feel me? It's just, it's just something, like, I was, I was thinking about, because, like, all these, all these, uh, people do some dumb shit, and then they just apologize, and then just go back to doing their dumb shit. I'm pretty sure BTS and them niggas have, I guess, done dumb shit, apologized, and changed their ways. So why the fuck are we still talking about that shit? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> come on, dog. Like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. They they try... Niggas try... Bro, niggas try their best to change their ways. Don't have no reason to bring up that shit, like, like unprovoked. That's goofy. It's really easy to fall on over onto that other side. But with BTS specifically, oh my like God. their inspirations are no secret. Like their inspirations or influences are not a secret. From the black artists that they collab with, the black producers, the black writers that they work with to like help create their music. Like there's no cultural wow. culture thing going on here with BTS specifically, which can make it feel like more of like a cultural exchange because they're singing about you know, things that are universal, but all of it is like steep with their own designer experiences. So it doesn't complicate my fandom specifically, but you know, it, it's there, it's there, it's there. It's there. No matter who you are, where you from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. When I found out that BTS donated $1 million to Black Lives Matter, it made me feel as though they cared enough to put their money where their mouth is. Now, more than ever, we must try to remember who we are and face who we are. We must try to love ourselves and imagine the future. This is very scary. BTS will be there with you. That is a very they scary video. They talk about their video. favorite artists that happen to be black. And they talk about the impact that those artists have had on their lives and their taste in music today. So I knew that BTS would be talking about the issue, but I did not think that they would be donating so much money. When Amis turned around and raised one million to match their donation, I tough. was one of the people at the day, forefront of that shit. too, because I was like, this makes me so proud. This makes me happy. This makes me want to give. Your army well. niggas are very welcoming for like for real. 
So the hashtag BlackoutBTS is a trend that goes around on Twitter once a month and you use the hashtag BlackoutBTS. You pretty much just Black upload a photo of yourself and then a photo of your bias and you use the hashtag. Mm. I think that this hashtag is special because it's specifically showing representation and love to the Black armies that love and support BTS. I always participate. Everyone mostly knows me. I'm always under the tag spread and love between photos. This online movement was truly necessary because a lot of times you don't see Black ARMY being represented. Whenever you see documentaries and things about BTS, you rarely see a Black ARMY. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know. Hella niggas like BTS. Look at us. We're here. know that. We're a community that's also part of ARMY. shit, fool. Even my most recent post, I posted myself in African attire. I wish I could participate, but I'm too shy. Like, I, maybe when I have a cute day, you know, I'll try again. Honestly, if you listen to BTS's music without prejudice, you will find something you like. They never give it a shot, they never give it a try. They have a preconceived notion in their head of what K-pop is. If they actually look into BTS and actually take time to listen to their music, they will see why BTS is as big as they are. Yeah. I cannot wait to see the higher levels they soar to because there is nothing they deserve more than continued success and like me and many other armies love to say as long as they decide to be here we will be here because with everything they have done for me and with everything they continue to do for me i am happy to continue to support and love them they deserve all the recognition they get and they deserve so much more, as a matter of fact, because like BTS is underrated. They're very known, but like they're very underrated at the same time, like in the music industry. I would I mean, just Grammys like to think it was so much for not only featuring me, but other black <laughs> army who love and support BTS. Grammys and for real don't mean honestly, shit, just dude. for doing this video to just show the impact that BTS have had on the music industry and on black boys and girls today. You know, BTS army. I purple you. Oh, that's their passion, oh, their ah, unconditional okay. love. I just say thanks to the, all the armies. They made us, they give us for us. For, for you, we love. That was Black BTS fans share why they purple this K-pop group. All right, and this is the time when I share my reason as to why I fuck with these niggas. Why I purple these niggas, you know what I mean? I purple these niggas because it wasn't the music at first. It was the explained videos and the stories that I previously watched that got me like, these niggas is valid. That's what got me, because hearing that they came up and everybody shitted on them in the past and how they broke through that and still were motivated to get through all these niggas and get through all this shit. It, it it clicks it click in me if y'all enjoy it, please leave a like down below subscribe you know turn on my post notifications and tell your friends about me um if that matters what what type of armies are y'all are y'all like like what, what's y'all races let me know in the comment section down below don't 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 make it sound like i'm trying to be racist i'm just curious <laughs> uh, thank y'all for watching thank y'all for everything i see you guys in the next video Y'all be easy, all right? I bet. I bet. I bet.